paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. I'm Sarah Richardson. This is Daryl. This is Daryl's laundry room and soon to be kid's bath because his wife is having a baby. And this is what Daryl's laundry room and kid's bath look like now, thanks to some help from Design Inc. traffic jams. Do I need a coffee, maybe? Not running late, but I may run into some challenges on my next project. Meet Daryl. I basically am a busy guy, like everyone else, but I mean, I work really for about 12 hours a day, and I really don't have a lot of time to get things done. So he's given us complete control of the design. That's not the challenge. All right, what's in store for us? This is, oh, little laundry? Not one, but two rooms. Kate and I have our work cut out for us. My wife's pregnant, and she needs to have a second floor that's really usable for her. First thing I found after having a baby, whoa, man, there's no room to move in here. Let's try this again. First thing I found after having a baby was there was a lot of laundry. Yeah, the huge change in life, and then you're stuck doing laundry. So it's got to be a fun room. Who needs privacy in the laundry room? Although I suppose occasionally you are flying in looking for your bra. <laughs> How many times do I end up going like this, like, sneaking in front of the window in my laundry room, like, hello? <laughs> First of all, you need a folding surface, right? For sure. The fact that it flips up means that you can't put a counter on top. Right. So what if we prioritized doing new front-loading machines so that then we could put one big counter That's a great idea. all the way across yeah. the top? I think we need some storage. Definitely. What if we could put cabinets coming down from the top right. and then a big open shelf? Yeah. So everything you're folding. Is that a good height? You just suddenly got taller. I know, I got, there's a little curb here. I'm quite enjoying it. <laughs> you're already taller than me, that's not fair. Hmm. Curb appeal in the laundry room. Okay, but not with these bland colors. What if we did the blue and chocolate theme? Almost like a really sophisticated kitchen palette taken to the laundry. Yes. It's Tuscan farmhouse laundry. There you go. That's it. Is that strange? Do we get to go to Tuscany? Sadly, no. But we do get to travel across the hall to the kids' bathroom. This is the most boring beige bathroom I have ever seen. This is not inspiring. This needs some character. What if we did something really unusual? Perhaps wainscoting. And then it gets a gloss paint. And I'm thinking this room needs pizzazz. I noticed the guest room across the hall has a quilt and it has pinky reds. Obviously the vanity is not gonna be red. Or is it? Or is it? Maybe it is. <laughs> and what about the budget? It's finding something that inspires you on the high end and then finding the low price version of that. This is how low can you go? Well, that's a little too low budget. But with two rooms, we need to get our priorities straight. I need a coffee and some food in order to do this fast. Hmm, I wonder if there's a snack bar in here. We need to find red for the kids' bath amongst countless choices. Is this the kind of red we're thinking? Yeah, that's kind of the red I thought you were describing to me. Those are fresh and fun. They're not red. Orange? Can you do orange and green? No, 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 no. <laughs> I like this one. Isn't that, that's yeah. a dobby. Yeah. This little decorative, that's called the dobby. The dobby. Where's the dobby at? There's a whole world of blue and green towels. Look at them. It seems like I'm getting a message, you know? We do seem to be getting green signals, but I'm going to hold out on the perfect red for the bathroom. Meanwhile, Kate's looking for a stylish new washer and dryer. Kind of need to establish the color palette for the laundry room. OK. So uh, we could do black appliances. That seems a bit dark. Okay. We do red or blue. Mm. 
I like the blue. I like the blue. I like the blue. That sort of metallic blue looks like a fancy car. Love it. Okay. I think that's perfect. Okay, I'm going to order them. That's our splurge. Time for some savings. An eight-foot-long counter is about $120. That's about all that's in our budget. Oh, you're wrinkling up your nose. Have I no, suddenly no, gone I'm, shopping with Tommy? No, no, no. This was the blue I was thinking about. Is that a bit crazy for you? Wait a minute. This has to work with our appliances. Oh, yeah, that blue is not going to go with this blue. Oh, boy, that would be ugly. Can we pull this out and just set it on top of our cart? I need to visualize it. It's got some gray blue tones. You know what? This countertop is going to look terrible. With the floor. With the floor. You don't like it? <laughs> don't look like you're going to throw up looking at it. It looks like someone already threw up. Oh, on come it. on! Can we have a, some crew input? This is why everybody does their laundry room white. I'm waiting for like lightning to strike. Maybe we just have to go tried and true, beige. There's a beige floor. It's, it's the, the one fixed one. element. Yeah. Why are we fighting it? Let it go. Let just go. let it go. I did my nails to match. Ready, wallpaper. <laughs> I did think that maybe this should be our jumping off point. Because that's so much fun. I'm crazy about this wallpaper. There's nothing that is a kiddie theme about it. So there's no reason why it can't be adult. Color is bang on exactly what I wanted. And this. I found some good towel. Isn't that great? Amazing. And the shower curtain. These are some well-priced cottons, mm -hmm. and we could have something custom-made. This is my first choice as well, is that it actually helps the floor. I think it's terrific. I would never do a room where it had to all be exactly this very color and nothing else. But I would say, sorry, that was my foot. But I would say <laughs> that, I don't know, it sounded like a toot-toot, but it was just my shoe. Toot-toot. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Really that was? That sounded like a foot, but it was actually. Where do you okay. go from here? <laughs> we have an uncomfortable moment. We break like the wind and move on to cabinetry and counter solutions for the laundry room. And it's on sale. Hi. Found anything? Can I say that I think we need to shift gears, change direction a little bit? Change color, change... Yeah, right. Something like this for the laundry room, this grooved panel door. Okay. And then they have an interesting countertop option. Faux Carrera. So we can have our whole section. Oh, for $90? For $90. And the whole shebang? We can do it for about $800. Tops and bottoms. Okay, but can I tell you what I'm still struggling with? Sure. This is a gray countertop and we still have a cream floor. Right. Not that one. Okay, Kate, what about this kind of warm, bleachy tone? That makes me feel so We'll much go with better. our floor, so we don't have to use the laminate that you don't like. We can yeah. get this steel edge face on it. Right. Perfect. Let's get it. Okay, let's check star. Come on, baby. We have? Yeah. Yoo-hoo! There. And I guess now is as good a time as any to plan the layout. We just want to make it look nice. Yeah, that's cool. Right now what I'm doing, I'm just figuring out your suspension rail, which is that piece that you see on the top there. Yes. So that's going to run the full length of your uppers. Mm -hmm. That's basically all that you have to level, and then the cabinets just hang on there. So it's really, it's pretty foolproof. Yeah. Well, I'm not the one installing it, but it's good to know that <laughs> yeah. it is foolproof. So it should be easy. Do we have a fool In case we have a fool to install. Yeah. Now, what we have here is... I can only hope this goes well. Now, with all the aggression I can muster, I'll sink it all. But why is Vic removing the counter? The new countertop is white as well, and so that's where I might get myself into some trouble because I took out a white one. I've got a sinking feeling Kate's changed my plans for the bathroom. However, this is chunkier. It has a really nice edge detail, and it has no backsplash. And unfortunately, I had to make this decision without Sarah being on site today. That's my phone. I gotta go. That's me on the phone, and I approve. Time for some power shopping. Since today is our day to talk about all the pretty things in the world, I thought we should have a little discussion about toilet seats. Out of all the toilet seats, see, this is the only one I like. Because it has a chrome hinge. Nice it's surface, supreme. it's simple, it's not a shell, it's not a rope, it's not black. And it's definitely not one of these. And most importantly, it's not that soft padded stuff, but I don't think any, oh, yeah. they do still have them. But they crack and then they pinch your bum. 
Okay, that's way too much information. Yeah. Do you like this one? I do like that one. I think it's more the look we were going for. Check that out. Rain shower head, $29. Is it like being outside naked in the rain? Um, it was, I, I mean, I, uh, not in a sprinkle, in more. <laughs> what has gotten into Kate? But the reality of it is, a hand shower is probably going to be more useful for these little. I think so. How about a nice round laundry sink? I love that sink. Okay, I think that's fine. a great idea. Done. As the day goes on, we get punchier and punchier. Need a bright idea. How about that? Brushed nickel. For the laundry $129 for the laundry room. Doesn't that have a little charm? I like that Doesn't idea. That doesn't that, a little, a little, doesn't that add a little charm? Think of it this way. If you put a 60-watt chandelier bulb mm -hmm. in each one of those, that's 300 watts in the laundry room. That's a lot of watts. That's a lot of wattage. And these for the bathroom. It's in stock. Ready to go. And so are we. It's good to end on a high note. We've been here long enough. I think they should put us on payroll. Do you get benefits? I don't know. I'd probably get more comfortable shoes. <laughs> Back at Daryl's, the heavy lifting has begun. You don't want to use a doll here. No, I'm just going to pick it up and carry it down. <laughs> Who loves you, baby? See what I just did there? I did. But I'll be really impressed once all the work is done. That hanging strip did make this job foolproof. Everything is on schedule. Uh-oh. This dryer has a major bash in the side of it. Stented here and scratched here and scratched here. And when you have a look at the box, there's a big hole on the side. I haven't even checked the washing machine yet. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty good dent, okay. too. I actually thought this time that everything was coming together. And now it's all gone. Gone to the birds. Does this make you feel better? Yes. Me too, because tile backsplash is an easy way to add visual impact. If you use a rail, we can't put the glass right up against the stone because it's not as thick. But if you do the stone, then a stone chair rail, then the glass, then another stone chair rail, you're fine. The backsplash and the cabinets go up without a hitch. The counter, on the other hand, well, let's just say hitch. Neither myself or Vic thought about the logistics of getting the washing machine up over the lip and then down under the countertop. You just suddenly got taller. I know, I got, there's a little curve here. I'm quite enjoying it. You're already taller than me, that's not fair. <laughs> Come on up on my curve. Which is a huge problem. Luckily, the tiler is still here. Let's see what you mean. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna remove an inch and a half worth of tile. Okay and we're gonna raise the countertop up. All right, that so fixes everything. Okay, thanks. Well, we may be blue in the laundry room, but in the bathroom, we're seeing red, which for once is a good thing. At least one of these projects isn't giving us grief. Darn. It works too well. Vic, don't jinx this now. There absolutely is savings in refacing over replacing. Um, one thing you need to think about when you're replacing a vanity is, is there floor tile underneath? Because if the vanity was put in before the floor tile, then you could run into some trouble there. Refacing is simply a matter of painting the gables, painting the doors, new countertop, new sink, new faucet, and it feels like a new vanity when it really wasn't that much effort. Also, since we're changing the counter, we saved time on installing the paneling because Vic didn't need to cut around the old backsplash. It's quick, it looks great, and it's finished. These two rooms are almost wow. complete. Time to check in on the finishing details. It looks really, really, really cute. Isn't that fun? Oh, this wallpaper is adorable. Why would you buy a ready-made shower curtain when you can get your own fabric and you can create one that really looks great in the space? Huh? And is a nice length. You have to go long enough that you don't see the front of the tub. The shelf above the toilet, fabulous. I was thinking we'd put hooks, just a bunch of hooks okay. along 
the lower section okay. into the panel. Now, do, do they go right into the paneling? What I'm thinking is we go basically every two panels. And across the hall. That looks nice. Does this faucet fit here? For me, like there. I think I would probably want it on the left side okay. so that it's not getting in the way yeah. of your folding surface. Sure. Seems to me a little bit. Oh, no, maybe you want it here. This way you don't have a splash issue. So a couple things. So we need a, a really great, well, what do you think of the wall cover? I don't love it. I don't like the wall cover. <laughs> I'm glad you said it. I... This wasn't what I wanted. This blue is making me blue. We're giving Daryl a new look for his laundry room and kid's bathroom. It looks really, really, really cute! As for the laundry room, these blues are hitting a bad note. The tile has a kind of a bit of a greeny undertone to it, and this wall color has a sort of purpley undertone, and they are clashing for me. Yeah. That's the reason why we have to repaint this wall, because That's by the time you have the backsplash, the appliances, and it's a lot of blue. It's three blues that don't jive. We've got to fly through some options and find the perfect solution. Oh, this is a cool one. Minute Mo. Ponder. You want to feel jubilant about doing laundry? Uncertain gray. OK. Come and look at it from over here. Uncertain gray goes green. It's because it's not sure it's gray. <laughs> what are you? We could start a really fun new game. We can think of how many paint color names can you come up with. We could have a challenge. Try, dove, gray. Uh, no. Okay, souvenir. I think it's souvenir. Okay. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's gonna work. Turned out our on-the-fly pick was perfect. Time for Design Inc. to pull these rooms together. Like your towels. Thanks. Work of art. How cute. I'm really in the Cesar. Laundry rooms tend to be pretty low down on the priority list of rooms to decorate. But if you're having a baby, you're gonna spend a lot of time doing laundry. Basically, we put tons of focus on making a kitchen and a bathroom look fabulous. A bathroom is not a space you use for entertaining. Neither is a laundry room. If your bathroom looks great, why shouldn't your laundry room look nice? No offense, but with you two standing up with your armpits in the air, I think we need some aroma spray. When I walked into the laundry room, first of all, I saw the appliances, I saw the cabinetry, and then I looked up, and there's a chandelier. A chandelier in a laundry room? It just adds a little bit more of a homey feel to it. Our jumping off point for the laundry room was somewhat comical. It's Tuscan farmhouse laundry. There you go. All of those cobblestone streets in France or in Italy, and there's laundry hanging between these beautiful old buildings. So I guess we were thinking about the blue sky and the natural limestone buildings. We really focused on trying to create storage and folding areas. We were able to squeeze in a ton of closed storage, some really handy open storage, and about an eight foot long folding counter. I'm so jealous of that laundry room. I wish my laundry room looked like this, but it doesn't, and it probably won't anytime soon, so I hope they enjoy it. <laughs> Let's face it, the main objective with a laundry room is you want to make it look good, you want it to work really well, and you want to spend as little money as possible. So we invested in getting a new washer and dryer, and after that, we bought cabinetry that was on sale, an inexpensive countertop that was in stock, a few square feet of backsplash, and that's about it. Major impact for minimum investment. The thing about the bathroom is there was no jumping off point. So I glanced across the hall and in the guest bedroom there was a quilt. And I thought, okay, that right there is a clear indication of their taste, of their style. And so, why not red? It's fun. Lots of people have bathrooms like this. Nothing really wrong with them, but nothing to write home about. But you can create a huge, huge impact just by changing the doors on the vanity. We didn't even take the vanity out. Add a new countertop, put in a new sink and a faucet, and then the two most high impact things we did were to install the paneling and to install wallpaper. Those two elements just added texture and they added interest. We were able to add storage through the medicine cabinets. All of these elements were extraordinarily simple. This was a project that was all about decorating. And I think 
for me, it really underscores what you can do. Tight timeline, tight budget, fabulously dramatic results. I wasn't really too concerned about the whole renovation process. Uh, just put my faith in Sarah. My wife is a huge fan of Sarah's and I knew whatever she put together, it would be pleasing to her. I for one know that things get pretty hectic when you have a new baby. So I just hope that by us tackling this project for them, they'll be able to enjoy their new family instead of thinking about all the items on their to-do list.